Welcome everybody. I am so excited about this one. We're going to jump right on into it. So I am going to go into my elements and I am going to grab a photo and then I'm going to go into my uploads and I am going to grab this little AI image that I made for my sister's birthday. I did not make this in Canva. I made this in Microsoft Copilot. So if you want to do something like that, you have to do, I don't know how well Canva does. I don't, I don't use the Canva one, but anywho, so once you got your image ready, we're going to go to apps and what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down, 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 down. It's way down here, y'all way down here. And you're going to see a purpley pink box with, it looks like a little piece of candy on it. Now, once we got it in the box, you can start manipulating this thing all kinds of ways that you want to. You can horizontal, vertical, so you can start like almost literally flipping this thing flat. So you can just make all your kind of degrees any kind of way you want to. Let's, and then when you like one, what you can do, see, I like that one there. Let's do it a little bit more like that. So I like that angle. It kind of looks like a book on top of a table or something. I'll add that to the design. When you add it to the design, the original does not go away. It stays there. So once you can, once you do that, you can also do little crazy things like you can duplicate it. Let's see. Flip it horizontally, vertically. I just started flipping it around all kinds of crazy ways. And then what I was doing. I thought was kind of cool to kind of make it look like a book. Let's do something like that. And then I take the transparency down on one side. So if you kind of want to see that, I'll we'll move that over and you see something like that. And I just need to move that over a little bit. And they kind of made that cool little reflection slash arrow kind of thing to do. And you can do something like that and you can kind of like jazz your stuff up a little bit. It's very new and I still need to keep playing with it. So we'll move this one over out the way. Now, one thing that happens, and I'm going to show you an example. We're going to go in here since we're still learning. This is a brand new app. Say I go and get a frame. I'm going to move this picture to the front, bring it to the front. I'm going to bring it into to the interior. Say I want to skew this. I'm going to go into my apps. Um, I'm going to use my apps because it's closer now and it's in my apps. It's going to do the original photo. It is not going to do anything that you want this away. So if you want something this away, maybe to try to skew, what I would do is download this with a transparent background and re upload it back into Canva, like something like this. Let's grab something like one of my uploads. So we'll grab. Let's do this since this is crazy. That might look kind of cool. So this doesn't have a background on it. So I'm going to go back into my apps, go back into my skill. And now I can go and move this around as a whole because it's, it has no background. So I can add it to the design and there is my skewed image of that. So that example is done. So if you want to do like the box, like I did the box, so we don't need this anymore anyway. Goodbye. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I do back it up. So what I did here, this was, let's see, a negative 14 and this was a negative 12 angle for this. So I'm going to add that to the design and what I did for the box, I'm going to just do two pictures. That way you can see a little bit of a contrast in it. Um, uh, let's see. What's the other one I used to make a good, this one right here. So I'll go back into my app and this, so whatever you d use the last go around will still be in there. The numbers you use the last go around. So if you want to set those the same way, then that's awesome. You can do that. So I'll add that to the design, move this out of the way. Burp, burp. And then what I did with that is I did a lot of flipping. I might, I'm going to, I'm going to wait a second until that's gone. So I f just to figure out which ways I needed to flip stuff and then go here, 
turn it, line it, line the edges up. And sometimes it's weird. It doesn't kind of make it the same size, even though they were same size photos. But it's still fun to play with and make kind of cool things out of. So once I got it lined up looking somewhat like a box, what I did is I just grouped it, duplicated it, and then come on, stop lagging on me. Spanded sp it around like so. And now you have like a cool box and then you can just group the whole box together. Spin that back around so your pictures are the right size up. And then you have this cool, and you could probably do it with like um, four different pictures to kind of make a kind of like a box thing, but you're only going to see the top two. So, and the other thing that I did too is I took like the back ones and it kind of transparency them a little bit. Or I would maybe go and go into duo tone and maybe put like a different kind of tone to them, color tone. But like this is brand new, so it is still very much in play phase for me. But uh, I'm hoping some kind of play phase will morph into some animated phase at some point for me and see what I can do with this kind of stuff. But I just wanted to show y'all this new cool little app that does cool little things. And I hope y'all make cool little things. And have a blast. And if you're on Facebook, please post them, post them, post them, post them. Because you know I love to see them, see them, see them, see them. So that is this cute, cool little tutorial for today. And I love you guys. Have fun. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.